For many years, since the times of our great-grandparents, perhaps, it's been a traditional practice to milk the family cows to sustain the family. In many homes, this tradition has developed in a surprising way, developing into industrial-scale dairy processing operations. Those were difficult times. First, because this is a very competitive product, and back then there were many small dairy plants that were making cheese, and the market conditions were very difficult to maneuver. We also had a lot of mishaps because we were just getting to know our clients. Some were good, others were bad, so that was difficult. But it finally happened, and through persistence and time, we have achieved something. Who said taking the first step was easy? Every beginning implies effort and sacrifice. It can also bring about great rewards and sorrows, which can become great life lessons. What happened back then? I was renting a small farm. I sold the milk to a dairy company, and since I couldn't live on what the company paid me, I made up my mind to add value to the same milk that I was producing on the farm I was renting. So then, Eliseo decided that we would make cheese at home with the milk that we had. We had a few cows, so Eliseo said, let's make cheese. He was selling the milk, and at first he would sell two barrels and leave one barrel for the house to make cheese. That's how we started. It was around 200 liters of milk. First, the kitchen wasn't big enough because the cheese wouldn't fit in the fridge since sales were increasing because cars would stop to buy cheese and sugarcane tea. So he built a larger room. And we started to make cheese in that room. We would heat the milk in barrels using a wooden stove. Because we had nothing else, and to make cheese, you have to heat it up. And that's how we started. <laughs> What started out as a simple cheese stand mariposa, 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 mariposa. has now become the livelihood of many families and a key to the development of a region. Mariposa, 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 mariposa. Here, we spend a kilogram of concentrate for every five liters of milk. During milking, it's important to establish communication and a connection with the animals. You also have to be calm, because if you're calm, it's as if you transmit that energy to the animals. We begin milking at 4 in the morning, and in the afternoon at around 2.30 or 3, the latest 3 o'clock. Milking must be done very carefully, here or anywhere else you are working, whether manually or with a machine. We milk at 36 degrees Celsius. The idea is that as each milk churn is getting filled, you cover it well so that the milk does not get contaminated. On this farm, we currently milk 25 cows. Each one makes on average between 16 and 18 liters for a total daily production of 500 liters. <laughs> Thank you.
I spoke to a friend that had a dairy company and I made a deal with him and back then I made the cheese and he took care of selling it. Seeing that maybe the value we were adding to the product was making it viable, we started to take a liking to the business and we started buying more milk from the neighbors and little by little we started a dairy plant. The milk that arrives at this plant comes from approximately 800 dairy farms in towns like Yarumal, Don Matias, and Belmira. Nearly 85% of dairy producers in the area received help from the Perez Restrepo family in order to purchase cold storage tanks. We reached the point where we were processing approximately 1,200 liters of milk, and at that point, my business partner tried to push me out of the business. At any rate, he made up some story and kept the merchandise. He put me in a terrible predicament. At first, my husband bore the brunt of the business because it was he who would come home and tell me we have no one to sell the cheese to. So he would take off to Medellin and try to sell cheese. There were mornings when we all had this cheese and we didn't know what we were going to do. And we knew that come Saturday we had to pay the producers for their milk. And the cheese was just sitting there. So we would wake up early at 3 a.m. and take off. Despite all of that, when things are going to happen, they happen. I went to Medellin, and being a farmer my entire life, I didn't really know the big city. I went from place to place, looking for someone to buy my product. Fortunately, I was lucky on the day I went to offer the product because there was a shortage in the city market, so I made a good deal. And after making that great deal selling that product, the same buyers and wholesalers asked me to supply them directly. So that is how this company got its start. Milk is the base ingredient in numerous dairy products, such as yogurt, cheese, and butter. It is indispensable that during its processing, certain quality and food safety regulations must be followed. With this in mind, the Perez Restrepo family provides a great deal of support to small producers so they can adopt more technology. They used to bring the milk in churns, so we started a fund to finance the tanks for them because they were very costly and individually they couldn't afford it. So they've benefited from it because they pay in installments. In addition to that, their farms increase in value and finally they send better quality milk to the company. We feel very happy today because all of the milk delivered to the company is cold. And although we are embarked on the same project, it has changed somewhat because we are now moving into mechanical milking machines to see how we can improve the producer and our quality as well. Cleanliness and disinfection protocols are important in the dairy industry since they allow for a quality product that is safe for all consumers. The traceability and food safety program starts at the farms, especially at milking, where each tank must be previously coated to verify the safety and cleanliness of the milking process, of the milk, and of the raw product that arrives at our installations. To maintain food safety, you must completely disinfect the plant's equipment, 
work areas, and surfaces. This should be done under the supervision of professionals in charge of periodically taking laboratory samples. Sixteen years ago, the work here was very manual. There wasn't technology either at the plant or in the offices. Everything was manual. No computers. All we had was a calculator. We have been growing little by little, and as we needed it, we have evolved. And we got the first computer, but we only used the most basic functions. And later, we brought a software package. And from there on, the company has grown a lot. This family of humble origins never envisioned that its quest to provide a better future for their children would become a company that so many people call home. That this company, that has been through so many changes, would now be established as one of the most important dairy producers in the state of Antioquia. This has come about because instead of quitting, they have forged ahead by both trusting and supporting those that supply the milk they use. Building a company in the countryside has many benefits because those of us that work there are from a humble background. We are people that want to get ahead, and each day we are trying to improve our family's welfare. Our objective is to create employment with the understanding that this is our contribution to peace. We always have the idea that we are on a mission to work, to help people, to generate jobs. To make sure people had a place to sell their milk. It's been through family union, trust in God, the desire to get ahead, to think about people's needs, because this type of company generates a lot of employment. This company generates approximately 1,230 direct and indirect jobs in the area. I am a milk producer. I have been producing milk for El Liceo for 12 years. I produce 240 liters per day. And I plan on selling milk to Don Eliseo for many more years. This company has always been about small producers. We've never had large producers approach us. Those that are big have started their own company. When the plant started, it made only cheese, butter, and heavy cream. Now it has grown to such an extent that it offers consumers products such as multiple cheese varieties, quesitos, yogurt, kumis, dairy beverages, desserts, candies, soft drinks, cheese breads, and almohabanas, renowned for their unequaled taste. Our products are made with love, always thinking that everyone who tastes our products will find a product that has a good flavor, good quality, and it is 100% natural. The Perez Restrepo family never imagined that an old and traditional family recipe would nowadays be the reason why so many travelers stop by their business and taste all of the delicious products that are made not just with cheese, but with love. I always knew a recipe since when I was a little girl and my mother made cheese breads at home, so I have always had that idea. So I started with the help of Eliseo, my husband. We have always been together, and we think alike. And I've always been at his side supporting him. I said, let's make cheese breads, and then he found me the ovens, and we started. Well, I started.
When I started out with my cheese breads, people would steal the recipe. Workers came and went, and I said, you can take the recipe from me, but you can't take me away from the recipe. The most important ingredient in the recipe is the love of God. As of now, people say that our cheese breads are the best in the north of Antioquia. We promote our products in the marketplace, raising awareness in people to consume 100% natural products that will have a better nutritional value, all the while knowing that we are helping to raise the quality of life of a lot of people because they have jobs and we're contributing to the development of our region. We are now going to visit the place where the milk is processed and transformed into these delicious products, which are daily staples of our diet. The cheese factory is divided in two. In one part, we have fresh cheese, and in the other, curd cheese. Both are pressed, but at different pressures. Curd cheese has more whey than fresh cheese, as well as less salt. The fresh cheese has a higher salt content and is pressed more. The quesito is ground up and molded into the various sizes, 180, 200, 220, 400, and 500 grams. We also have other products, industrial curd cheese, which is packed in a five kilo size and sold to supermarkets. Our products reach the market completely fresh. We start production at three in the morning and we finish around 5.30. When they are shipped to all parts of the province where they arrive first thing the next morning. Among the other milk derivatives we make are yogurt and dairy drinks. The difference is that yogurt is 100% made from milk, while the dairy drinks contain a percentage of whey and a percentage of whole milk. The whey is a byproduct of the cheese and other products made in this plant. At this time, we make this with 90% milk and 10% whey, giving it a certain acidity and different flavor. We are now in the area where we pack the 180 gram yogurt cup. We also have a liter size, which is packed in this same machine. The flavors we're currently marketing are Borojo, Soursop, Feijoa, Red Berries, Grape, Lulo, and Passion Fruit. To many of these, we add a pre-made mix of calcium and iron, primarily for kids between 6 and 12 years old. Corporate environmental responsibility has become something more than just a legal issue. Industry must react responsibly, keeping as a main goal the care and conservation of the environment. On the environmental front, the plant has two concave roofs that collect rainwater, which is then sent to water collection tanks. From there, it is filtered and treated to be used in the plant. We have two natural streams, which give us a flow of six liters per hour for the plant, giving us 100% natural water from rainfall, as well as streams and natural springs. Este 
This family did not need a social responsibility law in order to understand that a company needs to trust its employees and also be committed to them, their families, and to society at large in order to improve the community's social capital and quality of life. On the social front, we are very committed to our employees and to our milk producers, making them feel part of our family. We have a very good team. We all understand each other well, and everyone is good at his or her job. I would recommend to people who are starting out businesses in the countryside or wherever to keep in mind that you must be honest and work with pride, and that itself is an achievement. That can take us very far. By analyzing our company and comparing it to others, we can conclude that it succeeded because of that, because we've been honest and because we have been very conscientious and very demanding on that front. The Perez Restrepo family has deep roots in the hearts of the people of Santa Rosa, where they are an example of business drive, unity, honesty, respect, and generosity. <laughs>